hello everyone in this video we will learn to design a program to find a factorial of a number now let's start our programming go to your form you can drag it and adjust as per your required size now we'll change the font size of this form go to the property and change the font if you change the font size of your form itself you don't have to change for each and every control you place on this form so it will reduce our time of typing the fonts. Now we'll place the controls. To find a factorial of a number, we need two label box, two text box, and two comment button. Now we'll place our controls. Label box one. Sorry. Go to the property. I'm not going to change of the label. I'll go to caption. And type as factorial of a number. Go to author size and change it to true so that it will adjust according to your text. Now we'll change the back color of the heading. And I'll place a shape that is rectangle shape so that my output screen will look better. You can drag it as per your required size. Now we'll see the properties of this shape. I'm not going to change the name. I'll change the back color. See here, my background color is not visible. To make it visible, go to back style. It is turned as zero. If you want to make it visible, you should make it true. That is one. See, now it, it is visible. Now we'll change the border color. I'll make it little more thick on the border. So I'll set a 6. Now we'll place the remaining controls. I'll place a label box here. And in caption, I'll give it as number. And I'll place a text box. To enter my input. And one more text box to display my result sorry now we we'll change the properties of text box 1 I'll erase the text content now I'll go to the name and change as number. And in text box, I'll change the text name to as result. And in text, I'll erase the text content. Now we'll place to comment. We'll change the properties. I'll give the name as find and in caption 
I'll give it as ampersand find. We'll place a second command. We'll change the name of the command as exit. And in caption, I'll give it a width. So this is our design of the output screen. We'll check the output screen. What is start brand executed? So this is your outlook of your screen. These two are the label boxes. The label box are nothing but the caption are non-editable at your running time. So you cannot edit these two box content in this stage. These two are the text boxes. One is used to input the data and one more I am using it for displaying my result. And these two are the command buttons. Find is to use, calculate the result of my task and quit is to exit from this particular output screen. Now we start coding for this out task. I'll double click on this find command to write my coding for the finding the factorial of a number. We need to declare three variable i, n and f. Let's declare the variable dim n, i, f as integer. Enter. Now we'll assign values to the variable n. n is nothing but it is a number. I'll assign my first text box values. That is my first text box name is number dot txt. Enter. So this statement is a declaration statement where we need to declare the variables we will be using in our codings. And this statement is I'm assigning the value to a variable. Like what I enter in my input box, it gets stored in the variable n. Now we'll give the assign values to the factorial variable that is nothing but f. f equals to initial value is 1. Enter. Now we'll give condition to calculate our result. To find our task, I'm going to use the if control statement. So if my n is greater than or equals to 0, then it should enter into my for loop for i equals to 1 to n. Enter for sorry f equals to f into i. Enter next. Enter. Now we'll display the result in the second text box. That is nothing but the result. My second text box name is result. I'll print the output as the factorial of a given number is give a space, close the quotation and give a concatenation symbol that is nothing but and symbol and type your result that is f enter now we should give the else part so if my condition fails it goes to the else part enter it msg box message box invalid input Here we have opened our control statement if. If you open any control statement, you have to close it. Now we will close our end if. So, these statements tell that if our input variable is greater than or equals to 0. For example, let me take a 5. If my 5 is greater than or equals to, it is true. Then it enters to the for statement that is i 1 to n it moves from 1 to 5 as my n value is 5 then it checks uh, it executes the loops continuously till the fifth value 
and it gets stored in the variable f. Next, in the next stage, after executing the next step, it goes to the result. When it ends its looping statement, it starts terminating there and it goes to the result and prints the result as f. Whatever value is stored in the f, it gets printed in the result. And if suppose my condition fails here, if I give any negative value, it gets failed in this stage. If it is fail, it will not enter into the loop that is for statement. It goes to the else part and prints the message as invalid input. So this is the concept behind this coding. Now we'll code for quit. Double click on this quit and type as unload me you can give it even end also it gets out of the screen that is output screen now we'll execute go to the start button and execute it now i'll type the value 5 find the factorial sorry spelling mistake the factorial of a given number is 120 i'll change the spelling and come back to you now we have got value for the factorial number 5 now we'll check for the else part. Again execute it and type minus value that is negative value and find it. See here the pop-up message is invalid input. Okay, we'll type for zero. Find the factorial of a given number is zero. The factorial of a zero is one. So now we we have checked for three values that is zero positive and a negative it's working properly i hope this program is understood and keep supporting and i'll meet you in the next video until then bye bye take care